Welcome back. Come in. Sit down. Sit down. We have serious business to discuss. Okay? Because you see here at Lux Studios, we like to take all challenges personally. And I seem to have a friend that thinks they'll get a black label before me. Yeah, I know. That's funny. I'll laugh at that later. And this video isn't about how to submit to Beckett. I don't want you to think that that's what we'll be talking about. This will be a battle of greatness. Okay? And we have a little criteria for this little competition of ours because this will be the first time we've submitted anything to Beckett. And I think it's great. Great little competition, right? And so, first up in the criteria list is Japanese versus Japanese. Pretty self-explanatory. My Japanese versus his Japanese. English versus English. My English versus his English. But then we have something called error versus error, which needs to be explained a little bit. So, you know that multiple sets come out in a year. We are considering that an error. And we can pull from any set from that era, right? And then we have sleeper versus sleeper, whereas a sleeper is, it's more of a, a mon that gets overlooked. For instance, my salamates that I have in a tin is a sleeper. So this would be a sleeper. The salamance is a, a dope artwork. I think that is amazing. Him on a rock. Wings spread, flames coming out his mouth. Great sleeper. And that'll be part of the criteria. One of the criteria for when we are sending in our cards. Because after I win this, uh, he's going to want a rematch. So since this is a battle, I'm going to let my friend go first. So this is my friend's first submission. All right, you too. Yeah, that's the back. You know, it's very colorful. It's very colorful. But my submission, you see this submission right here, though? You see this submission right here, though? Listen, that Tyranitar just won me the Elite Four. I just beat the Elite Four right here. Solidify. We did about 15 stone edges. He deserves a nap. Deserves a nap. He put the team on his back. That's that's what that looks like. It's a champion Pokemon right there. And then for my other friend's next submission, for my friend's next submission, he has his Pikachu. Which, look, the gold border is nice. This Pikachu looks like it was drawn on a napkin in a coffee shop. But my submission? But my submission, though? Dialga. Dialga. Stunting on Pikachu right now. Stunting. Look, ooh, look at that. Look at that. You can, listen, you can see the rake. Come on now. Come on now. Here we go. That's the back. That's a that's just a beautiful artwork. Just a beautiful artwork right there. And I love it. I can't wait to get a black label for that one. Before my friend. And then my friend's next submission. He's got some vintage heat, it looks like. Wow. Wow. An EX. Pokemon card. It's nice, it's nice, but it's not the prize Pokemon. Look at look at my Heat Train. Heat Train for life, right? Heat Train's been looking out for me. Wouldn't y'all agree, Heat Trains? They say yes. Oh, look at that. Look at the texture on that card. Black label. I'm calling it right now. Heat Train won't let me down. Black label. Oh, so we're going to pause for the cause right here and um, do a little 
PSA announcement, or a little PSA, public service announcement. I don't want to be redundant, you know what I mean? Um, special delivery Charizard. I was scrolling my emails, I didn't see anything, typed it in the search, Pokemon Center, no emails from them yet. I even checked my spam folder. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'm going to be patient. You know, I'm not going to fly off the handle. Um, but Pokemon Center, uh, when will I get my email? I would like to get my code. All right. And now we're back. So my friend just had a baby, so he's not able to do the full six on six. So we did a little three on three with Pokemon, just like the Masters, if you've been following the anime. But we also are collectors before anything else. So we do have some cards that we're sending in that aren't Pokemon. And he has this 92 USA basketball team Michael Jordan card, which I'm I am shocked that he has. That's that's amazing. That's pretty cool. But it is no Vegeta. Teaching Kaba to be a man. Stand on your own. To f oh, look at the damage, bro. Ooh, you can feel it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely a Dragon Ball Z collector. And I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Dragon Ball Super fan. I only watch the anime. I don't read the manga. Oh, look at that. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Here we go, got the father-son duo. Vegeta's my guy. Trunks is my guy. Working together. Just, listen, these cards are, are amazing. I love them. Now, I probably will get black labels with these, but what we're more concerned about are if the Pokemon will get the black label. So we're in competition, baby. And I welcome all challenges, as you all know, because that's how you can get your code cards. Nobody's challenged me, so I've just been scanning them in. I hold them for at least a month. So you got time to battle me on TCG Player if you want. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to let me know who you think will win down in the comments. I think this will be a nice little competition to see you know who's on whose side right so let's have fun with it go crazy in the the comments that'll be great to read thanks for tuning in i'll see you guys later peace